Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out, I'm in my backyard today and we're doing some pool testing. Today we're gonna to be testing the Mavic Pro. I got some of these floating devices too. The Mavic Air is actually drying because <laughs> I accidentally flipped it. It did great with the pontoons on, but then I was talking about it and touching it and trying to flip it over and I did flip the Mavic Air with a different set of these on there. So that's drying. Also testing a, a phone, how waterproof the phone is. It is quite windy today. It's like 10 miles per hour. So we'll see how it kind of works in the wind. Anyway, let's get started with the Mavic Pro floaties and see how they do. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is mount these up. I have not mounted these up yet. It looks like really simple. These are just like a 3D printed plastic here and it just kinda of has a uh, like a glued rod all the way through with like a stopper on one end so that's going all the way through the ball. So you just kinda of wanna match up the shape, push this on the front. Now this is a little bit more of that softer type of plastic. So it does feel like it's gonna somewhat, you know, kinda of stretch when you do kind of push it on there. So we're just gonna give it a good push. I'm not really pushing on the balls because it seems like it's gonna kind of damage the ball. So I'm just pushing it on enough to where it's slipped on there and it won't really easily come off. It looks like it's just pressure fitted and that looks pretty solid. Then what we'll do is we'll take the rear ones. You can see how they're a different shape here. And we've got a notch to match up with uh, existing kind of notch it has on there so we can only kind of put these on one way this one's going to go on this side and it feels like these are also just kind of pressure fitted i'm just kind of pulling them on making sure i don't disconnect my propeller that locking and these ones kind of spin you can see how they're kind of spinning all right so there we go that's how it looks when it's sitting on the uh, pontoons there you can see how it gives it quite a higher stance and this thing is ready to go into the water. And keep in mind, this is a little quick tip for you guys. If you are flying in kind of high winds like this or the wind picks up and you're like in GPS mode, I've noticed with all DJI products, they have like a threshold in each mode of how much wind they can handle. And what I've had happen is I hit some high winds a little higher up, maybe coming back. And I noticed that the drone just cannot fight the wind or if it's trying to sit stationary and I'm filming, the drone will kind of start to drift because the wind is blasting at it. If you switch into sport mode, when that's happening, it gives the drone more angle. So you're able to actually fight that wind a little harder. Of course, there's a maximum threshold where the thing just can't fight, you know, over 20, 25 or 30 miles per hour. And it will just try to fight it and it'll just keep drifting because the wind is too blasting. And you shouldn't be flying in that kind of wind anyway. So we're gonna lift off and do precision takeoff. There it goes. I'm gonna bring it on down and let's just fly over to the pool. Real quick before we get there to the pool, let's just hover here, bring it on down. Now let's just see how this thing looks. You can see how the, the front is quite a bit lower then the rear, that might actually be good for the front of the camera not to be touching the water more because it'll keep the front up a little bit. You can see it fighting the wind. Now these are gonna give it a little more weight, you know, and then also more wind resistance. Those are gonna blow it around a little more. So you're not gonna get quite as much battery flight time, but something maybe good to have on if you're flying around, uh, you know, water over water and stuff, okay? But we're definitely gonna land these see the gust kind of hitting it there we're gonna definitely land this on the water it's really gusting coming through this corridor let's go ahead and bring it over to the pool and slowly fly it over here you probably hear that wind in the mic now it's blasting right here and fingers crossed we just want to kind of land it right here on the water so with the downward vision, it's gonna possibly drift. So keep that in mind, you know, if you're over water, uh, DJI products are known to kind of drift. They can't really lock their position in very good above water. So just be careful with that. Anyway, I'm just gonna kind of pull down on the stick here. I'm pulling all the way down and I wanna kind of make it land in the water. And there it goes. 
I pulled down and held down on the throttle and it just landed in the water and I was just floating on the water well, this is the first time I've actually tested this with you guys so no rehearsing for this one and <laughs> luckily it it is floating okay and we can see it here how it's definitely keeping this guy I don't want to drop the controller in the water that's for sure this is this is the part where I uh, flipped the Mavic Air over by testing the um, you know stability here so I don't want to do that the Mavic Air is a little less stable with these kind of things on it has its own pontoons because um, it has shorter arms of course so it's not going to have that lateral support but the Mavic Pro is quite a bit wider from side to side and front to back look at that so you have an incredible amount of stability in the water so unless you have really choppy water it's not going to flip over maybe if you landed it in like the ocean and the waves you know there was some wind chop and it was quite swelly you might flip this thing over and get it wet but in this kind of situation look at this it's doing just great it can pretty much bounce it all over the place and it's not going to flip on its own so a great option if you're worried about the water and you're trying to get some shots uh, just keep in mind that again like I said more re wind resistance a little more weight so less flight time and it's going to get pushed around in the air if it's windy a little bit more so you, as you can see the wind is trying to blow it around in the pool but I want to relaunch uh, without hitting the propellers on the side of the pool so I'm going to just push it kind of towards the center and then let's arm this bad boy Wow, so it already actually lifted off out of the water without me touching it. And I just did a manual propeller startup with the sticks. That was quite interesting. I'd like to actually see what it does if we launch uh, with automatic takeoff on the app. Let's try that one more time. I'm gonna go back in the water. and land it here, holding the throttle all the way down. Nice. So it's going to be very hard to flip this when you're landing it in the water. So that wind is just trying to pull it to the side and I think the filter pump is also pulling it. So now let's try the automatic launch. I definitely don't want to hit this little awning there. So let's go launch and let's slide to take off. Nice. So that's the automatic launch. It did excellent. Very good. And if you have the sensors on, the Mavic is still detecting the water. And that's kind of how I drowned my first one in that waterfall pond, is see that wind blowing it. Uh, whoa, the wind's really coming up now. Woo. Mavic's trying to fight it. It seems like when it's over the water, it's not holding itself in its position as good as if it's uh, not over the water. But with that, in that waterfall pond, I was pulling down and getting close to the water, and all of a sudden it went into its automatic landing. But you can see how when I pull the stick down, it doesn't quite want to land unless you really hold it down. And you can still uh, cancel the landing. Let's try that. Let me demonstrate that real quick. If I'm holding down and I don't want to land in the water, at the last second, I can push up. And that's how I lost my first Mavic Pro, is it was before they updated that final landing process. And you could not cancel the landing by throttle unless you flipped in and out of sport mode. That was way back, like seven months ago. And I tried to fight DJI about it and said, you know, that's obviously a flaw, but they just didn't want to budge. So I lost that battle. But, but the, the ironic thing is, like a few days later, they implemented an update that lets you do that. Let's try that again. So if I'm doing quick throttle downs, it senses the water, it will not land or go any lower. But if I hold it, it'll start to land, but I can push up at the last second if I want to. And it'll totally get out of the landing mode it was in and it will just sit there and hover there. So. I'm glad they updated it, but I'm I'm uh, kind of upset that they did not look at that as a problem and I had to buy a new one on my own. So anyway, that's water under the bridge. <laughs> Let's try one more time to land it. 
uh, throttle down. Actually, let's just try a remote controlled app landing. Pressing on landing and pressing OK. Slide to land. And that works too. Okay, cool guys. Well, I think that's gonna be it. Let me go ahead and launch this thing back up. We'll just do a manual manual launch. So that's pretty cool. When you're launching out of water, it will lift up on its own. I think maybe that's what it does automatically when you launch on land. Let's go back and try that right here on the grass. I'm just gonna manually land it right here, just holding the throttle all the way down. And let's manually lift off again and see how high it gets. It looked like it got about two, two or three feet high off the water. Manually launching with the sticks. Yeah, so it doesn't do that on the ground. That's pretty interesting. It just uh, arms the propellers and it's ready to launch until you throttle it up. But you can see, remember in the water is where it, uh, it went up on its own, on arming. Great, so I'm gonna land it over here, guys, and we'll do a little pros and cons. See, right here, and we'll give it a little landing. Seems like it's doing very well with these guys. A little bit of wind resistance. I'll land it right here. So what do we think about these little floaties? I know these have been around for a while, but I just got some in recently. I do like the uh, fluorescent orange color. The ones I have for the Mavic Air, are white, but I think I'm gonna paint them, just hit them with a little spray paint and paint them this color. Cause if you're in the water, uh, this is a very highly visible color. It's probably the best color to see in the ocean. That's for sure. And you can hear a little bit of the vibration cause these things are kind of spinning a little bit and not totally tight, but that's definitely minor. I mean, they do their job perfectly. It keeps it. And because the Mavic Pro is so wide, you can see how it was super stable, much more stable than the Mavic Air, which I flipped over in that pool. That's in another video. If you guys want to see that test, um, I'm actually drying it out and I'm going to uh, finish that review of those pontoons for the Mavic Air. Hopefully it works again. But the Mavic Pro floaties are perfect add-on if you wanted to be safe and you can even land on the water. You know, if you're, maybe you're around wildlife in a lake or something or in the ocean, maybe if you want to get close to the ducks and you want to land by them and you can do some filming and you could move your camera around. Of course, you can't turn it left and right or go forward and back unless the props are spinning. And then when you do arm it, keep in mind above the water, this guy wants to launch a couple feet automatically. So it's not like you can have the propellers slightly spinning while it's sitting on the water and use it kind of like a boat and move around. It just, it's going to want to, get up away from the water. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of the Mavic Pro floaties I got here. I will have the link down in the description down below the video. If you want to check these out, they work great. And I will see you in the next review. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.